let's start just by pushing some of this, Richard. I got this in the post yesterday, courtesy of Richard's. Well, not courtesy of Richard, but with money off <laughs> because of his discount code. What is it, Richard? I printed it. Yes, that uh, is Richard Lloyd 20. Uh, all is one yeah. word. And you can use that to get 20% off any clothing at Zavi. They've got a new Doctor Who range, the regeneration yeah. range, uh, with lovely t shirts of all the doctors. I've got Perts, we've got Capaldi. Um, and yes, yeah, so if that floats you back, yeah. uh, use my promo code, get 20% off, and uh, yeah. that would be really great. Little note from editing Miles from the future here. Um, I do actually go on to make a joke that Zavi haven't in fact given me any discount codes for anyone, but that is no longer true because Zavi have since approached me and given me some very special codes for you Tailored Vision fans and supporters. Um, you can use the code Tailored20, which should be on the screen now, for 20% off t-shirts and clothing items uh, and Tailored10 uh, for 10% off site-wide uh, on any of their products, be it steelbooks, DVDs, Blu-rays, whatnot. Uh, with the exception of pre-orders and a few other little bits. I think Tech and Lego are involved in that. Uh, but yes, Tailored 10 will get you 10% off any product on uh, Zavi, and Tailored 20 will get you 20% off any clothing items. So now you've got two sets of discount codes to choose from, uh, mine or Richard's. Choose who your loyalties lie with, and uh, yeah, one of us will be very offended, the other one will be eternally grateful. I don't know where I'm going with this. In enjoy the video, please. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to uh, another collab with me and Richard, obviously another Zoom based one for now, uh, who knows in the coming weeks and months and whatever, uh, as things open up, we might be doing things outside in the garden if the weather's good or whatever, but for now, uh, hopefully one of the last online collabs, who knows. Yeah. Um, but yes, today we thought we'd talk about uh, something that's been uh, around the Doctor Who community recently uh, because of some new releases. Uh, the Target books, we've had a brand new wave. Um, as you can see, there we go, perfectly demonstrated by Richard. Wow. I've got a similar yeah. similar this pile is my here. Full collection. <laughs> is that your full collection? I'm not to talk about that. That's my full collection, yes. I should have brought um, all mine down as well. I just sort of picked a few, <laughs> a cherry picked a few favourites. But yes, we're going to be doing a sort of a two part video almost um wow. one part being on my channel one part being on richard's talking about both the target novels that have gone before and then looking at some of the brand new ones and speculating on what we'd like to see in the future i thought the best place to start would be how the targets began just very quickly uh, i mean as far as i'm aware it was just uh, a few re-releases uh, of some 60s books at first mm, yes um i think it's the Daleks, Please. Crusades, and Doctor and the Zabi, wasn't it? That's the one, yeah. I haven't got Doctor and the Zabi. Yeah. Uh, nor have I read either of these two, despite <laughs> having them in my collection since uh. 2011. That's how they sort of began. Terence Dix, obviously, writing a load of brand new ones and all that sort of stuff. Um, there's a few that I still haven't picked up from, uh, from those re-released ones. Because was it 2011 that they did a, a sort of a wave of... Uh, a few. Do you know, I'm not actually too sure. I mean, mm. I'm, I'm like vaguely aware of them. We've got the nice gold logo and the cream yeah. card covers, aren't they? But, um, Which they've sort of kept. Yeah, I, of... I don't actually have any of those. Yeah, yeah. And they've kind of kept yeah, that mine, mine kind of all, motif. Like, all the old ones. Yeah, all battered mm -hmm. and from charity shops. I mean, that, that is um, a target book, though, to be fair. That well, old battered yes. look is a target book. Absolutely. What was your first one that you ever got? Well, actually, so that one I just held up here actually is probably my first one that's Doctor in the Daleks um and I got this in a second-hand bookshop um over in uh, the town that way uh, I won't say it out loud yes. on YouTube but um <laughs> on, on holiday when we used to holiday here before before oh, we moved really? here and actually I forgot as well the bookmark which I got uh with it oh and i still use to this day uh, that is um you know what i reckon i've been in there because i have that well not that exact same yeah. bookmark but i have a sylvester mccoy bookmark and uh it had tassels at the end but mine fell off a bit and it did it, sadly they've, yeah. they've come off on mine too yeah and i've never actually read this edition i certainly didn't read it at the time um but then i did get more recently the re-release of the nice like original pink Hard they didn't, cover. as if they were from the original kind of the exactly actual release. Right. Yeah, yeah, as if yeah. It was yeah. the original release. Um, and I which, read that. Which didn't have the Daleks on the cover, it. which is mad, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's like the, just the Doctor, isn't it? Like, looking mm. all moody. And, and yeah, it's an interesting one because it's got, like, this this alternative opening for the whole show. It's like, I think it's like a car crash um, oh. with, I think, Barbara's in the car and Ian goes to help her or something. It's, it's a nice little alternative opening. I think they did the same for Colony in Space as well. I think that Malcolm Holt uh, decided to write Joe as yeah. that being her first story as well. First story. Yeah, yeah. So, no wonder people were confused back in the days before VHS because mm. these things are misleading. What's canon and what's not? <laughs> but that's a good question, Richard, because it nicely segues wow. into uh, uh, a sort of question I wanted to approach is what makes a good target book to you? Is, is it one that mm. is a perfect, you know, recount of the episode, you know, word for word, the script is exactly the same, or is yes. it a, a kind of one that expands on it or one that just totally goes off on one like David Doctor? Um, what's... Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I think from my, I mean, we'll get onto this later on, but from my most recent uh, reading of Target books, mm-hmm. um, on the one hand, when you kind of get into the groove of it and you're reading the words as they were on screen and you're like, it's like all that sort of memory of, of watching it and it's bringing it all back. There's a real ease to how you can read those ones. Yeah. Um, at, the, at the same time, I do like it when they diverge a bit. I mean, I get increasing and especially with these new series ones where we can watch the episodes again there is that sort of demand for the authors to do something different to add material in i mean that those are always the most sort of striking bits and conspicuous yeah. bits in the, the, these new books yeah it's an interesting one yeah I mean, they both have their place though yeah you know, i know the what faithful you mean ones and the unfaithful ones mm-hmm. i think i would sway myself more towards the ones that do something a bit different but at the same time there's something very kind of comforting about reading one, which is just exactly as it was, I think. I How about exactly you? you? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean about like, there's merits to both of them. And yeah. especially in when they were originally sort of devised, I guess the main point of them essentially was just to retell these stories because you didn't have VHS, mm. you didn't have DVDs and all that sort of stuff. Exactly. You didn't have special yeah. features and commentaries. So that the purpose has kind of changed because if I want to watch Rose, I just stick it on iPlayer, yeah. but yeah. now I kind of want, well, I want that, but a little bit more. And that's mm. why like the Christmas Invasion novel was great. And so was like Twice Upon a Time, but they were very much of mm. the old target sensibility of just retelling with the yes. odd little tweak. Yeah. Something like Rose, um, something like Day of the Doctor is, I, I'd argue very different. Maybe not so much Rose, but certainly Day of the Doctor is. Certainly Day of the Doctor, yeah. yeah. It's it's mad. But there's a lot of new material, isn't there? Yeah. The length of that that book compared to a normal target, it's a it's a thick one, isn't it? Very thick, and yeah, the the font is very small as well. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's jam packed, isn't it? Yeah. I was looking at like I was comparing it to to others in the range, yeah. and it's just Stephen Moffat how he managed to cram that all in there. Yeah, field day. <laughs> yeah. Any target book is much like a script. It's it's very much that author's voice. Like we'll go into the new ones, but certainly like Rob Sherman's yeah. Dalek one is just, that is Rob Sherman. It's everything that he is encapsulated in a book. Dave the Doctor mm. is Stephen Moffat, you know, going off on one mid paragraph. And R- Rose is very much Russell's real humans and real characters and uh, backstory and uh, kitchen sink drama like their TV things. So mm. even though the the story might have changed, the sensibility of the episodes is still there. The 2018 uh, targets when they came yeah. out, uh, wasn't that like, it, cause it amazing. wasn't really promoted yeah. at first, but suddenly we had these, these amazing books. Yeah, I was, I was looking this morning, like trying to find the announcement and I couldn't find anything earlier than February that year. So yeah. Unless well, I've, I've missed some, some prior announcement, I think it must have been quite quick. I mean, obviously, twice upon a time, and then he had a couple of months before. So well, yeah, yeah, they sort of had to announce it. After and that, I, 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 I do remember they popped up on Amazon before a proper announcement, and everyone was really confused of like, what is this <laughs> Doctor Who Rose yeah. by Russell T Davis? Oh, yes. What what's going on here? Yeah. Uh, and you're right, it did seem like a quick turnaround. It was suddenly like these are going to be out next month. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. Great. You got Twice Upon a Time early, didn't you? I did, oh. yeah. So this is my little claim to fame with the, the targets, but um, I won uh, a copy uh, from Paul Cornell's ah. newsletter on email. 
yeah, I got it early. I mean, I don't think it was like the first, I wasn't the first person to ever get hold of it because I think review copies were out there as well. But um, yeah, I got it before release. And that was that was very exciting. But also I mean, with, with all of these, because the, so the order I read them and I read that one first and then Day of the Doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, and then where's it gone? Rose was after that. And then I think I caught up and read The Christmas Invasion the yeah. following summer. But not the following summer, but like a couple of months later because these were all in sort of Easter time. It was basically this, this time of year or thereabouts wasn't it it was, um, wasn't it like three years ago and the interesting thing was i don't know about you but because obviously that time we were both finishing our a levels and finishing school weren't we and like mm -hmm. this was just like a really nice thing i remember to kind of offset revision and, and to yeah have going on at the same time um they're so special yeah so i get very I, I, very exactly nostalgic mean. for them yeah they were yeah, great I don't know um, how I managed to make that mini documentary at the time when they came out as well, because yeah. like you say, we were mid mid A levels, but I definitely read Rose yeah, first right. and yes. I literally devoured it. I think if not in a day in at least two. Yeah, no, I, I just think, you know, like I say, they're so special and uh, it was just great to get a new series version of these, this kind of renowned classic series, um, book series of you know the targets i think it was genius yeah. it's it's such a great and, and and they've they've all been done so well as well i can't think of a single one that that hasn't been uh, yeah that hasn't been great what was your exposure to the targets before that because certainly for me i'd like i'd picked up these two in forbidden planet they were like yeah they um, did it they did a wave of like like crisp new ones didn't they reprints, weren't they yeah they yeah. were sort of like and they seem to have loads of them going spare, so like for, I don't know, very cheap. So I they were like I a pound those... or pound fifty or something, weren't they? Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Um, and I haven't actually read the Green Death yet, but I read Marco Polo. I think that must have been the only one I had read prior to these new. Ones. So the the new ones for me, at least, was uh, very much my sort of first exposure mm. to them. To be honest, yeah. I mean, certainly for me, it was, it was reading reading these ones. Um, was my first exposure to it and it was great because you know you had twice upon a time which as we say was just you know a couple Brand of months new, it? before it was up on screen so that was yeah the, the kind of novelty of that and then um obviously with, with moffat and russell davis getting involved as well perfect um, choices as well in terms of if you were going to ask Steve yeah. moffat and and russell to write <laughs> a book i think they they picked the the t totally the right ones i couldn't think of any others that they would they could have written no um, no you're right you're right totally. they really suit suit them and uh their their doctor who like i was saying it's of their their voice mm. is definitely in those in the older ones as well i mean i picked off of my shelf because you you said to me you were like um oh yeah i'm guessing you've read yeah. more of the older ones because uh, i've only read about six and i was like i think i've read quite a few actually and then i, I looked over my shelf and i was like <laughs> these are the only ones i've read prior to the, the other ones coming out. The first one was this Doctor and the Cybermen one, yes. which as a as an 11 year old, I, I loved. Um, and I've not gone back to since, but I should. And the other ones were kind of just like now and then, you know, quick reads when I was like, I don't really feel like a full book, but I want something to get totally. my teeth yeah, into. Yeah. Basking in the sun, reading the invasion last year. Yes, and I remember, remember that. Cause there yeah. were like pretty questionable parts of, of that that appeared was, on your- Ian Marta really did put some some odd things in there. Um, <laughs> I think in the 80s, they kind of did, uh, they were sort of like, well, what audiences are these books, you know, for? Mm. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of swearing included in here. Um, there's Jamie getting his bones broken and all that sort of stuff. It's, uh, it's a very strong, it's a strong book, um, but really like enjoyable. I mean, look at that cover. I, I mm, love that. Great, yeah. I think that's great. I can't remember who who's who did this one. Andrew Skilleter. Skilleter? Skilleter? Andrew, someone. Um, <laughs> but really like amazing stuff, which is, I mean, you know, the covers uh, over the years, mm. we've had some great, great ones. Uh, yeah. I remember getting this magazine here, The Art of Doctor Who, and just uh, yes. reading about, you know, the, the target covers and, and how they came to be. Um, yeah, yeah. But what would you say? I mean, that brand new poster came out with Doctor Who magazine recently with yes. all the covers on. Oh, you've got it there. I've I got mean, it right <laughs> there's so many to pour over. I can barely decide them. which I mean, my favorite is. I think the new one was probably 
Day of the Doctor is my highlight just because of those Daleks if nothing else really and just yeah like just all of those the classic ones channel, yeah. like Anthony Dry is the artist isn't he he, um, he really channels that I think it's Chris Chris, Chris Keely also did yeah. the very first ones isn't it so and that's quite a nice one the five Doctors one nice sort of sparkly one but not yeah not artistically but like, well, I don't know it's got it's, it, nice it stands sort of out though doesn't it it definitely stands out mm-hmm. um, oh, that's I haven't actually read that one but the Dinosaur Invasion one as well Oh, yeah, I haven't got the clack one, though. You need to get really the clack one. The clack one. Well, of course, yeah. Have you got any of the weird uh, Davison ones, which is literally just a photograph shoddily edited together? Um, oh, gosh. I No, I don't know. No. I mean, that is literally a photograph. That's just time flight yeah. like on set. The ones which is Peter Davison has kind of been merged into the Doctor Who logo. I think it's on, like, Snake Dance or something, where they've incorporated him into the logo itself oh yeah like the, yeah that's what I mean. yeah yeah it's it's a interesting idea <laughs> just looking now i think those seventh doctor ones are very they nice. are it's lovely kind of yeah and the logo there, like. really pops on that the mm-hmm. mccoy logo oh, yeah. i guess you always kind of go back to like the original sort of ones like i'd agree yeah those ones don't you and... the achilles artwork is definitely up there for me as my yeah, that's, that's that's the quintessential cool. target book for me. It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And especially the Anthony Dry ones that have been out recently with the new ranges and things. Like like we were saying, because those books mean a lot to us. They were from a time in our lives, you know, when um, they were just so lovely. Uh, mm. It's, uh, you know, these covers do mean a lot. And do you remember at the time people co- uh, sort of kicked up a stink about that's that's Billy Piper from series two. She's not from uh, she's not from Rose and all that sort of stuff. Yes, 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 yes. And then we have to remind people Hartnell on the it's Crusaders was from the Three Doctors. So I don't know what you want about. It's like with the Witchfinders, the Thirteenth Doctor from the Battle yeah. of Ransdale Collis. That's the most sort of striking so, one. Yeah. In this new batch. The Christmas Invasion is probably the the biggest defender. Oh, in that's the biggest one, isn't it? Yeah. The um, end of time. Yeah. And it's last story on the cover is first. Exactly, yeah, kind of meta that. I guess a good sort of um, thing to 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 end on before we sort of go on to the brand new ones that have just yeah, come out, yeah. and we can include the the new ones in here if okay. if we yeah. so wish. But what would you say is your favourite Target book? If if I was going to burn your collection, mm-hmm. and you could grab one before I did, yeah. what would you what would you um, pick? It would have to be the Day of the Doctor, I think, yeah. for me, just as that's it it does the most interesting and unexpected thing out of all of them really um, it's a mind-boggling one i, I love yeah. it i read it again at the end of last year just because oh, yeah. i i i was in waterstones just browsing and uh looking at the, the doc two books and i picked up day of the doctor and i just was like oh i remember this being really good and i read the first page and I stood there for about 10 minutes just reading it. And I was like, I should probably read this again because I love it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I read that again last year and uh, it's it's a really good one. But for me personally, I think it's got to go to, um, to Rose because, yeah. like I said, I, I just eat it up. Um, and every time I've read it, because I've read it a few times, um, it's uh, it just does so many great things. One of the best being how Rose herself isn't actually described until the final page, give or take. The last page, isn't it? Yeah. And I just think that's so so clever in that you know we've had this girl with us for all this time, and it's only at the end when the Doctor's there that she really becomes defined. I think that's just it's mm. really clever, um, and the extra stuff that's added in there, the Autons with blades in their hands or something along those lines i can't quite so remember isn't there in like the south bank and yeah explosions and battles and stuff and yeah exactly and we've now wow. got a sequel to that as well which is quite cool um after the <laughs> lockdown who stuff so that's the target books of the past that's our journey yeah. into terror and uh, escape from danger oh. and all that sort of stuff yes <laughs> um but uh we were obviously lucky enough this year to get some new ones uh mm which Richard has read two of, I yes. read two of, but those don't necessarily mesh. So we'll be finding out our own thoughts on all the ones we've yes. read Tune in, um, for those. in another video on Richard's channel. So stay tuned for that. 
Um, but yes, please, in the meantime, tell us what was your first Target book? What does the range mean to you? And uh, what are your favourite covers? All that sort of stuff. Um, just have a bit of a reminisce um, about what your favourites are and do let us know your thoughts on the brand new ones that have come out. Um, yeah. I suppose, I suppose that's everything, really. So, uh, Last page. Yeah. Tune in for <laughs> part two. We should leave it on some sort of a cliffhanger. I don't know. Cliffhanger. Yeah. Um, bye. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And if you've got a few shekels to spare, you can find a link in the description below to my Ko-fi page, where you can support myself and the channel. Anything you give is greatly appreciated and will go towards creating bigger and better content. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.